Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'll be showing you a video comparing the standard penny board to the gold cup banana board. Within this video I'll tell you the similarities and differences between the two and take you for a test ride of both. Before I get started with the video, if you guys haven't subscribed yet you can hit the subscribe button. Also in the description below there's a link to my Facebook page where you can like me there to stay updated with my videos. Let's get to the review. So we'll start off with an overview of both of the boards. The one on the left being the banana board and the one on the right of course being the penny. Both are pretty much the same length. The penny is 22 inches long by 6 inches wide while the banana is 23 inches long by 6 inches wide. So the banana has one inch on the penny. Both boards are made of some very durable plastic. The penny, as you can see, is reinforced like that on the bottom, but it still has some nice flex. And I'll give you a flexibility test of both of the boards a little bit later in the video. And then the banana has that pattern on the bottom to reinforce it. Something that the banana does better than the penny is the grip pattern. And as you can see, on the penny, there's kind of this waffle pattern. And then you move over to the banana, and you see these target shapes right here. And each center of the target is raised. And that really does a good job of gripping on your feet. And uh, is probably one of the best grip patterns I've seen on these small cruiser boards. When comparing the wheels, the penny has 59 millimeter. 78A urethane wheels, and it also has uh, ABEX 7 bearings, which are a pretty good bearing. Moving over to the banana board, they have what's called gold cup stokums, and they're really an interesting wheel because if you can see, it has a rather large lip, and what the lip does is absorbs bumps and makes uh, a very smooth ride for the banana board. And I actually really enjoy these wheels and think that. It offers, uh, it definitely offers a very smooth ride for the board. Um, a small downside is that it comes stock with ABEC 3 bearings. Um, that's not a huge problem though. Uh, bearings are always pretty easy to swap out. Another unique feature that the banana board has is it actually has, uh, while it, it does have the rear kicktail, similar to the penny, it also has a large front lip and a front kick as well. So you can see how this raises up in the front and that allows you to do some more tricks and hop up some curbs with the banana board. Moving to the underside of the board, you'll see it got banana board right there and you got a P for penny right there. The trucks on the penny board are three inches and the banana has two inch trucks but you'll see because of the wide wheels uh, it's about the same width on the bottom. Both the trucks on both the boards feel very durable and work very well. So I'll give you now a look at the flexibility of the two boards. And flexibility doesn't really have anything to do with weight limit. What flexibility does is just uh, the greater the flexibility, the smoother the ride and the more bumps it absorbs. Keep in mind though that I've used this particular penny board for a while now, so the deck has had time to break in while the banana board is relatively new and the deck is a little stiff and will break in over time. With that being said, let's start off with the penny board and give a few bounces for the flexibility. And now moving over to the banana board. Both boards come in many different color schemes. Uh, one of the disadvantages though of the banana board is that you can't get it customized like you can the penny. This is a, actually a custom version. Uh, the banana board only comes in set colors, but with that being said, there's a large option for the different colors that you can get. Now that I've had the banana for a while and been able to ride it around, I've realized that it really is a very good board. Uh, a lot of times you get knockoffs of the standard penny um, you know, you can buy them cheap for $30 at uh, some store and they're not well made and they're, they're just cheap feeling. Well, the banana is definitely not one of those. It's definitely not a knockoff. It's really its own board 
and it does it very well. Uh, it's very solidly made. It feels awesome when you ride it. It's got some cool features like the, uh, the grip on the deck as well as the front kick and the uh, large lip wheels. So it's, it's definitely its own board and it holds, it holds its own against the penny. I know a lot of you are going to ask in the comments which board do I prefer over the other. Uh, truthfully, right now I prefer the penny over the banana. I do believe that is only because I'm more comfortable riding the penny though. I think if I started riding the banana first, I would be much more comfortable with the banana than the penny. So to sum it all up, you can't go wrong with your standard penny. It's still the classic penny board that we all know and love. But if you're looking for something different, something well made, and a very strong competitor to the penny, the banana board will do that for you. And it's a great board, one of the strongest competitors I've seen to the penny, and really one of the best small plastic cruiser boards I've seen. After all this comparison, let's get to the test ride so you guys can see how they ride. I'd like to thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, you can check out my other videos on my channel and I hope you enjoy those as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.